and shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. I feel like I need to re-watch my exam season vlogs to remember how exams went this year. It's been so long. The wait is like months and months as always. I think it feels particularly long this time round because I've literally moved jobs between sitting the exams and getting the results. But yes, these are my results for the exams I sat in September this year. Lots of you watching will know by now that I am sitting professional exams. I'm training to be an actuary. I was pretty ambitious this year and sat three exams in one sitting. Don't know what I was thinking. I did CM2, CP2 and CP3 last sitting. I believe I'm getting results for CM2 today. At least I'm getting results for one of those three. They released results on separate days. So today is Tuesday and and on Thursday, I will get my second round of results just to keep the week extra exciting, you know? It's bam, results, then Christmas party, then bam, have some more results. I do feel a little bit like I have something to prove this time with results. In general, I'm way more chill about them than I ever was about university exam results, but because I've moved job recently, I feel like I need to prove to my new colleagues that I am a competent student actuary who can pass exams, and it just would not be a good look if I fail all three of them. So let's let's hope, pray, keep your fingers and toes crossed for me that that doesn't happen. Is this gonna be the day the page fails her first actuarial exam? Maybe be at least I've got you guys for moral support and obviously I'm not live streaming it this year not because I'm scared I'm gonna fail I don't care if I live stream and fail sometimes it's the way the world works it's just because my exam results are being released on two separate days and I want to put them in a single video for you guys and so it just made sense to pre-film this time round but the live streams will return at some point because I do love a good live stream. I am seriously quite interested to know though I don't know whether the website is gonna crash it sometimes does because all the students log on at the same time to get their results. Log on to the website is currently unavailable due to high demand. Please try again in 30 minutes. Are they joking me? I have waited three months for these results and they're telling me to wait another half hour. Hmm. Okay, well, while we wait, let's chat so I don't get nervous. CM2 was actually the biggest subject I sat this sitting. It's the one I want to pass the most because it would be the biggest pain to retake. Honestly, guys, this is one of the biggest days in a student actuary's calendar. IFOA results day. We do love a good IFOA results day. <sighs> Log on. Come on. Let me in. <gasps> yeah, this look hopeful. Or onto the website. I successfully ignored their message to wait half an hour and we have access. Okay, exam results September 2022 session. That looks like exactly what I want. The results have been released. You can download your exam results letter by clicking the link below. That sounds like something I should do. You know when you get really impatient for results and you're like, where are results? It's been three months. Can I have my results now, please? And then suddenly you don't actually want to know your results at all. I'm probably quite good with just not knowing, you know. I'm pretty good. I'm happy right now. Oh. Okay, go on then. Ah. <laughs> passed it. There's a P there. I passed it. That's the biggest sense of relief that I've ever felt. This is the first time that I've properly felt relieved about an actuarial exam result. Normally I'm just excited. And I think that says a lot about how I was feeling about this exam and I genuinely was quite worried I'd failed it. My mark was 64 out of 100. The IFOA have deemed me competent in financial engineering and loss reserving, which I'm very happy about. Comment below if you've also had exam results recently. Let me know how you got on. Hello. Hello. I've Hello. opened my results for my first exam and I passed. You can. Yay. You passed. So I passed at least one and it was the one I really wanted to pass. It was CM2. Well, I, I don't have my results for the other two yet because they're released on Thursday, but so how, how far off were you? I got 64. They haven't released a pass mark yet. That will probably be released like tomorrow or in the next week About or so. 58 normally. No, well I was just looking back. September 2021 pass mark was 63. <laughs> and then 
pre and then the three sittings prior to that, it was 60, 60 and 61. So basically, <laughs> we've scraped through again. So we do need to wait until Thursday for my next set of results. But in the meantime, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the info sent between your device and the internet. A VPN also swaps the real location of your device to a new one. Using a VPN makes sure that your city, country and download history aren't linked to your identity. And Surfshark has a clean web feature which blocks ads, trackers, malware and phishing attempts which are becoming increasingly common at the moment. I swear I'm getting one every single day. And on the topic of location, Surfshark has over 3,200 servers. This enables you to access and unblock content libraries and streaming services from other countries so you can get your Netflix wherever you are. And I know my sister would not have got through her year abroad in Canada if it wasn't for VPN. Download Surfshark and use code PAGEY to get 85% off plus three extra months for free. Click the link in the description to check it out and also bear in mind that Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee so there's really no risk in trying it out. And with that, I'm gonna whiz off and get ready for work Christmas party day tomorrow and I will check in with you guys on Thursday for the next set of results. You guys are so lucky you only have to wait like 30 seconds. I have to wait two whole days from this point. Here we are again, everybody. I actually feel nervous today. I was fine until I just spoke to my mum on the phone 15 minutes ago and she was like, so, do you really think you might have failed this one? And it seems so stupid, but I just don't want my record blemished. I've never failed an actuarial exam so far, but the reality is they are tough. The pass rates are low. People fail every sitting. It's so common to fail and it's actually quite rare to pass all of these exams in the first try. So I'm definitely not a failure if I fail one exam. And actually, you know what? Speaking this out loud is putting me a little bit more at ease. It's no big deal. By the way, as well, I found out that the pass mark for CM2, which is the one I got 64 in on Tuesday, was actually 58. So I was six marks over the boundary, which is good. I was clever today and I logged in before six o'clock because I knew they were gonna say, you can't log in like they did on Tuesday otherwise. There's, oh my gosh, there's two separate results letters for CP2 and CP3. I don't know which one I want to know first. CP2 is the one that went really, really badly. It was spreadsheets. I thought I was gonna do fine because I work with spreadsheets every day in my job, but the paper was really tough. I think the reason I'm feeling nervous and my heart's beating really fast right now is because there's this shred of hope that maybe because everyone found the paper really, really tough. Everyone I've spoken to who sat that paper said, that it was really tough. So I've just got this shred of hope that they might just pass us all. <laughs> it was also two papers and paper two went better than paper one, but still not spectacularly. And then CP3 is the other exam that I've got the results for. And that one's quite hard to judge. I threw it in as a bit of a wild card last minute. It's written communications. I didn't do a lot of prep for it. And now I'm just rambling to try procrastinate opening these results. Let's just go for it, CP2. <sighs> so sad. Guys, I failed. Oh, my mark was 54. I bet that's close to the boundary. I bet the boundary was low because it was a tough paper. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I'm okay, just smiling through it. Let's open CP3 to hope that brings me some joy. Oh, I passed CP3. Oh, phew. Do you know what, two out of three isn't bad. Two out of three isn't bad. I can't get over that disappointment of CP2. But I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. CP3, wow, I think I've been lucky. I got 57 in CP3. And now I really wanna know what the pass marks are. I'm gonna go on Reddit. Reddit is my new favorite thing. I've realized that lots of the student actuaries are on Reddit. They all post what marks they got and so you can figure out what the pass mark is. 
because I don't release the past marks until the day after. I'll get like a whole breakdown of my results tomorrow so I can see exactly what went wrong with CP2. Let's go Reddit. Who's this person who's got 67 in CP2 and 66 in CP3? These genius people. Not enough people have posted. Come on people, post your results. Did people say they passed with 57? Someone passed it with 57. So I was three marks or less away from passing. Three marks or less away from passing, guys. This thread is so sad because there's like other people on here being like, I failed my exam. Guys, I'm with you. <sighs> Three marks or less. Three marks or less. Okay, well, I'm gonna go off and enjoy my evening. In all honesty, guys, I may care about it. These things happen with exams. Let's look at the bright side of all this. As of now, I have passed seven out of 13 actuarial exams. So we are making excellent progress here. I am two more exams up from this time one week ago. Yes, I feel sad about failing and that's, that's normal, but I'm just gonna retake. Okay, I will probably check in with you guys again once I know a little bit more about my results breakdowns and the pass marks. Hello everyone, so it's now the weekend and I've finished my week of work, which is great. All my colleagues were really nice on Friday, lots of them message to say well done on passing two exams, so it's nice to be supported. I found out my results breakdown and how far I missed for the exam I failed. My mark for CP2, as previously shared with you, was 54. The pass mark was 57, so I was three marks off from passing. However, I also saw a complete breakdown of what each examiner gave me for each question. And the way that IFOA does their marking is every script is marked by two people independently, and then they take the average of those two examiners' marks to give you your overall mark. Now, after that first initial marking, I was one mark off the pass mark. Yes, you heard me. I was one mark off, I got 56. But of course, because I was one mark off the IFOA, were kind enough to give my script a review because I was so close. They get in a senior examiner to look at your scripts as well. This is where it all went wrong because they could have moved me up and instead they moved me two marks down. I of course put it all into a spreadsheet which is very on brand for me. And it's also quite ironic because by failing this exam they're saying you can't do spreadsheets, but look at me go. And what was quite interesting is that the script review marks did not lie in between the two individual original markers marks. The script reviewer of paper one was really harsh and took me right down to 48. But the script reviewer of paper two gave me a 60, which was higher than both of my original marks for that paper. But I mean, whatever way you look at it, before the script review, after the script review, I failed the exam. I very, very fairly failed the exam. There were some scenarios where if you took the highest of each of the marks that an examiner gave me for each paper, I did pass. But that's not the way marking works. You can't just take the good marks and ignore the bad ones. So I complain, I moan about it, but I just gotta do better next time. It's a thorough marking system and I'm not gonna knock that. Where I was one mark off passing, they reviewed my script, which was good of them to do could have given me another mark but it's, it's okay. I am definitely going to retake this one next sitting and fingers crossed it'll be second time lucky. CP3 which is the one I passed, the pass mark was 54 and I got 57. The markers who backed me came through that time so that was good. I'd say overall having had a few days to kind of process the exam fail I probably feel better about it today than I did on Thursday. It makes it more exciting. It would be a little bit boring if I passed everything first time right. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Please remember to check out Surfshark VPN by clicking the link in the description and use my code as well. I hope you're all having a lovely festive period. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram, subscribe to my newsletter, follow me on LinkedIn, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.